I've been shooting with Campion boats for about seven years now. They are Canada's largest independent boat uh, manufacturer and I just love getting out on the water with the Campion guys. They've got a phenomenal product. After seven years of shooting with Campion boats, we go to each shoot with a pretty uh, solid formula of how we're going to do it. We need to make sure that the shots change, uh, that there's some uh, uniqueness going on. They've also got three different model lineups, so we've got their Chase, Alante, and Explorer, and each one is branded very differently, so we've got to be conscious of that going into the shoot, that we're targeting the right market for each image. It really captures the Campion image and uh, shows it well. The colors always stand out brilliantly. The uh, Our lifestyle shots capture the people that are typically the type of people who buy our boat. So the first step is to figure out a lifestyle shot. That's sort of the main signature image for each boat that goes into the catalog. And we try to find something that taps into the experience of owning a boat. What's it, what's it like to be in the driver's seat of that boat? Um, that usually involves models, a lifestyle location, something like that. Going into the shoot, one of the lifestyle images that we wanted to capture was the boyfriend and girlfriend splashing each other. So we're losing our sun a little bit, so Aaron's going to supplement that with a sun gun fired with a portable generator. Sean's a very creative individual. Uh, he's willing to do whatever to get the right shot. And, uh, sometimes it's scary, sometimes it's funny, uh, but whatever the case, he always gets the shot that we love. I wanted to get down right, right at the water level. I'm not going to find some parts after this. <laughs> So I, you know, put on the life jacket like a diaper and, and hop down in the water and that kind of got my buoyancy right to water level and uh, managed to get the, get the shot from that angle, which I thought looked really cool. That's great. So just coming up, maybe on the first step there, Mike. Yeah, exactly. Just like that. Okay, and action. Yes, perfect. And again. One, two, three, action. Very nice. And again, one, two, three. Our second shot is to capture a running shot. That's where the boat is traveling through the water on plane at a good speed that makes it look attractive in the water. Uh, so right now I'm just putting on my Kenyan gyro stabilizer. Uh, we're gonna be doing some running shots of the boat and this uh, helps to dampen the vibration and get the shot ultra sharp. One of the things that we did with car commercials was we built these car rigs and it's basically uh, these steel arms that extend off the, the, the edge of a car and allow the camera to mount just off of the car and would travel with the vehicle. Uh, so when I came into boat photography I thought well you know why not do the same sort of thing and uh, you know using a remote trigger as the boat's driving around uh, I fired shots. So we devised these sort of suction cup mounts that attach to the, the hull of the boat. That was step one. Secondly, we attached what are called gobo arms to the suction mounts, and then they sort of extended out to uh, cartellinis. Uh, cartellinis sort of grabbed onto the center post mount of the tripod head, and then we put the camera on top of the tripod head. Now, we were getting a lot of bounce that we were noticing out of this. So uh, Aaron, he rigged up uh, just a ratchet strap uh, to there to help give a little top support and that helped prevent the the up and down bouncing. In the end uh, by Photoshop we had to remove uh, two gobo arms and a little piece of uh, ratchet strapping and it was it was an extremely easy composite. So normally shooting outside you wouldn't be shooting at an ISO of you know 400 but uh, that's what I'm doing in this case because I want to crank up my shutter speed. As you can see when we hit the waves there's going to be a little bit of a bounce going on here so I want to have a very fast shutter speed just to freeze the action so we don't get any uh, motion blur going on.
thirdly, we capture just uh, feature shots of all the different, uh, you know, whether it be the cockpit or the rear seating or the bow or whatever it might be. Uh, we want to capture those different features. I think one of the hardest things to photograph are, are boats, uh, and I think that's one of the reasons why I'm drawn to it. I love the challenge. Uh, there are just so many variables that are constantly changing. You've got a camera boat that's moving, you've got a, a model boat that's moving, you've got weather that's changing extremely quickly. Uh, it's hard to communicate, there's a lot going on. Um, it's, it's a really tough way to, to, to do photography, but I love it. <laughs>